aspirants and welcome to the YouTube channel of the study. In the last lecture, we had came across the Nagara style under the temple construction art. Today, we'll learn about the various sub styles of the Nagara style as well as gather information about the temples built in these styles. So, let's start with today's topic. As the Nagara style was dominant over the entire northern India, therefore, due to the different local characteristics in different regions, many sub styles of the Nagara styles were also developed, in which the major sub categories are as follows Odisha style, a new style of temple architecture developed in various parts of the ancient Kalinga state or present day Odisha, which developed between the 10th and the 13th centuries. The major temples of these style are located in and around the cities of Bhubaneswar and Puri. The salient features of this style are as follows. The Orissa style Vimanas, the temple towers at the main shrine are one of the magnificent intervention in the field of architecture in India. Orissa's artists paid more attention to the exterior decoration of their temple but the interiors of their temples were not very well ornated. Meaning that the outer walls of the temples were carved in large qualities and the inner walls were kept in carved or without carvings. In large temples of this style, the stone ceilings of the chambers are resting on the four big pillars. But the pillars were not commonly used in this style. The roofs were supported by iron girders which was the then marvelous technical creation. Most Odisha style temples are built in the order of four spacious chambers which were the worshipping chamber, the dance hall, the hall and the shrine which were also called the Bhoga Mandapa, Nata Mandapa, Jagmohana and Deul respectively. The huge Shikhara above the temple was called the Rekha Deul which was sharply turned inwards at the top. The main temple was in square form and the temples of this style were surrounded by boundary walls or can be said fortified. Some major temples built in this styles are the Bhubaneswara temple, the Rajarani temple, Puri's Jagannath temple, the Konak sun temple also known as the Black Pagoda, the Bhubaneswara's Vaital Diol temple etc. This style of temple construction was patronized by various dynasties like Shail, Som, Bhom, Chedi dynasty etc. Let us now know about the major temples built in the Orissa style. So, the most important one out of them is the Lingaraja temple of Bhubaneswara. Orissa's architecture in this century is the culmination of temple construction that can be seen in the Lingaraja temple of Bhubaneswara built in 1080, which is probably the most exquisite, magnificent and the large temple of around 36.5 meter high the shikara of this temple is in its complete form that is the shikara starts to tilt inwards at one third of its height. A flat stone sphere that is the amlak and kalash is installed above it. The height of its peak is five times higher than that of the Rajarani temple. The beauty of this grand curved shikara is further enhanced by long winds. Apart from this the miniature of the shikara on the shikara is the speciality of this temple that is a small form of shikara was built on the major shikara. The temple has a sanctum sanctorum, a large closed chamber or sabha mandapa, a dance hall or anritta mandapa and a chamber of bhog mandapas to offer alms. The last two were added to it later. There are additional places of worship around the lingaraja. The entire complex becomes more vocal due to its grandeur and the sheer size of the deep straight lines of the chariots. There are two such lines on either side of the central chariot in which four descending patterns are made in the shape of the shikara. The nine lower ceilings and the seven upper terrace of Jagmohana have been decorated with paintings like infantry, cavalry and elephants pictures. The elegance of the women and the gods and goddesses in the temple are engraved in beautiful and exquisite shape, creating such a huge shikara and a place of worship from a stone carved from a technical point of view is an outstanding achievement of an architecture. This temple is built of pink sandstone. 
the rajarani temple of bhubaneswar the rajarani temple of bhubaneswar is the best imitation of indian architecture filled with exquisite elegance this temple depicts perfection of bringing together the architecture of jagmohana jagmohana and vimana rising from the ground a high shaped tower goes over the sanctum sanctorum and inclines slowly the height of the shikhara on the shikhara of the small minarets of a temple on top of it rises like a huge mountain which is surrounded by small shrines the jagannath temple of puri the jagannath temple at puri is the most famous pilgrimage site among the four dhams which was built in 1110 ad it is built on a high platform like the lingaraja temple this temple also has four huge chambers built on the same axis even a monolith garuda pillar bought from the sun temple of konark has been installed just in front of the temple sun temple of konark the grandest achievement of odisha's artistic and architectural talent is the sun temple of konark which was built by the eastern ganga ruler narsimha dev in the 13th century this huge and magnificent temple was envisaged as a huge chariot with 12 pairs of ornamental wheels and drawn by seven horses standing on their hind legs this huge temple originally has a garbhagriha which is sanctum sanctorum with a curved crest above it the jagmohana and the dance hall or the nat mandapa which was built on the same axis as well as a huge hall with three entrances the ceilings of the sanctum sanctorum and the dance hall have fallen while the roof of jagmohana still remains the sanctum sanctorum and jagmohana stand together on a huge platform which is decorated with figures of elephants beautiful sculptures females elegance dancers and instrumentalists effective distinction of sunlight and shade has also been made over jagmohana in addition the sun temple of konark is also called the black pagoda because it is believed that the magnetic force of the huge dome of the temple caused the ships to crash after which later the dome was removed it is also included in the list of unesco's world heritage site in 1984 the vetal dhul temple bhubaneswar the vetal dhul temple was built in bhubaneswar in the 8th century which is a temple built in the drum shape of shakti cult the facade or exterior of the temple is divided in strip like shapes which go from the drum like roof to the ground these strips are extended out and idols are placed in the niche made in them the bundelkhand architecture or khajuraho style in the 10th and 11th centuries a great style of architecture emerged during the time of chandela king of bundelkhand whose major work is a beautiful cluster of temples at khajuraho which is around 100 miles southeast of jhansi for this reason it is also called khajuraho style or the chandela style of temple architecture the salient features of this style are as follows pink and bice granite and red sandstone have been used in the temple of this style the park or the wall structure is missing in this temple that is the temples are not in the boundary wall or not fortified they have been carved with minute sculptures in a large number on both the outer and the inner walls in fact the sculptures of these carvings are generally erotic in style and inspired by vatsyayan's work kama sutra generally these temples are east facing or north facing these temples used to have three chambers the sanctum sanctorum mandapa and ardha mandapa these three chambers are made together that is the temples of orissa likewise are not separate uru shrung or antaral are the identity of bundelkhand architecture in fact the minaret architecture that rises above the shikhara is called the urushrang and the long corridor between the sanctum sanctorum and the veranda is called the antaral apart from this the panchayatna style has also been used in the construction of these temples the subsidiary shrine also had rekha prasad or latina shikhara making the temple group look like a mountain range temple of this style were built on relatively high platform along with hinduism these temples are also associated with jainism sect 
Western group of Khajuraho temple include the Lakshmana temple, Kandariya Mahadev, Lakshmi, Jagadamba, Chitragupta, Parvati and Ganesha temples. Whereas the Eastern group includes the Brahma, Vamana, Javari and Hanumana temples. And Jain temples include the Adinath and Parshavanath etc. Let us tell you that the temples of Khajuraho were included in the UNESCO's World Heritage List in 1986. Now let us have a glimpse on the major temples of this style. The Kandariya Mahadev Temple The Kandariya Mahadev Temple was built between 1025 and 1050 AD and is the largest and most wonderful monument in the Khajuraho complex. There are about 870 beautiful sculptures and idols here. There is a separate slant in the parts of this temple. The second limb is made higher than the first one. Finally, the largest and the most wonderful monument in the Khajuraho complex. There are about 870 beautiful sculptures and idols here. There is a separate slant and the parts of this temple. The second limb is made higher than that of first. Finally, the highest sanctum sanctorum is built in which the statue of Kandariya Mahadev is installed. Also, statues of Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh etc. are installed in the niche of the northern, southern and western corners of the temple. It faces east and has stairs near the entrance. It is believed that it was built by Chandela ruler King Dhanadeva. The Lakshmana Temple The Lakshmana Temple is the oldest temple in the western group of Khajuraho built in the honor of Lord Vishnu. It was built between 930 to 950 AD by Chandela ruler Yashovarman. Red sandstone has been used in it. The Trimukhi statue of Lord Vishnu has been installed in this temple, in which the main face is of that of men, the right one resembles the lion, and the left one resembles his own incarnation of Varaha. In addition, around its space are symbolic statues of elephants and statues of more than 600 Hindu deities are carved as well as carvings are done on the walls too. Statues related to the Kama Sutra are also engraved in other statues. So in this way, we learned about the temple architecture of Orissa and Khajuraho. We'll learn about Gujarati and Rajasthani style temples in the next series. Along with this, the Basar style of temple architecture will also be discussed in the next video. Hence, stay tuned with us. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.